Uh, Council Member Kernigan, thanks for your time. Uh, there, as you know, we went through an economic crisis. The city has announced a kind of a shutdown, in want of a better term. What are your thoughts on what's happening right now? Well, the, the shutdown was one of many uh, cost-cutting measures that we did, and we only did that after we'd already cut about $38 million out of the budget. Um, I know there's been a lot of uh, heartache on the part of union members and, and some members of the public about the fact that the city isn't going to be open every single day, and that's certainly not something any of us on the council like either. But it, it was it was far from the first place we went. There, there were you know, tens of millions of dollars of other kinds of cuts that didn't hit the public directly. Then we got to uh, eliminating vacant positions, and which we eliminated the I don't know, I think maybe 90 of, and then we then had to actually lay off about 90 people who, you know, are actually employed, and that is um, something we take very seriously and are very sad about, is particularly in these um, tough times. Um, then, and we had to find another 10 million or, or so dollars, and anyway, we, so we had really no choice but to, to go there. Um, I also want to point out that we were trying to kind of spread the pain across a, in a lot of different ways. And um, one, because the city's budget is mostly personnel, it, some, it, mean, it means, and we just don't have the money to continue paying all the people that work for the city of Oakland, either we lay off a lot of people or an, another way to help spread it across is that everybody takes a, a small pay cut, which is really the result. When we shut down, people don't get paid, and what it has resulted in is about a 5% pay cut if you, if you average that out over a year. The council members are taking that same pay cut. Um, I mean, nobody likes any of these results, right. but when you don't have the money to pay your workforce, that's you know, that's what you have to do. And my other question is, where do we go from here from your opinion? I know no one has the right answer, even the Obama administration is trying to figure out and they're slowly yeah. watching things out, but where do we go from here from your you opinion? You know, I, I truly don't know yet. I mean, all the predictions are that uh, this spring, as we plan for our next two-year budget, that it's going to be even worse, that mm. we may be another $50 million, which, frankly, I cannot even imagine. I mean, we are right. so cut to the bone. Um, so I, I don't have the answers, but I, I know it's going to be bad. I mean, I, I, there's no question but that w that we are going to have to cut very important public services, and I, I just I don't see another way around it. Um, I got to leave this on a happy note. Yeah, I try you know, to find uh, a happy note. Lakeshore is really developed uh, between. It's really vibrant now. It's got a lot of great shops and restaurants. And uh -huh. We do attribute that to him. There's a great Indian restaurant over there and everything. Yeah. I've got to find something I'm happy to yes, talk about. Yes, yes. Well, like. <laughs> yeah. It was, well, I personally, I think it was something that kind of evolved over the last four or five years. Mm -hmm. um, and part of it was just sort of the reviving economy in Oakland in general. But a key part of it was, frankly, the farmer's market. Right. That is the Grand Lake Farmer's Market on Saturdays. It, it became so popular. It draws people not only from around all all over Oakland, mm -hmm. but uh, people from out of state. I mean, you know, when, yeah. they're, when they're visiting, right. it's you know, I campaigned there, and I would try to talk to District Two voters, and and they weren't District Two voters; <laughs> they yeah. were living in Berkeley and all yeah. kinds of places. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that was a, a factor. The Trader Joe's as an anchor, you know, was a factor. But I, I think it was a, kind of a combination of things. And so, uh, you know, Lakeshore is is one of the. There are several really vibrant. Uh, neighborhood commercial corridors, um, College Avenue, of course. And, right. And, and, I guess and since Piedmont I live close Avenue. to there, I'm kind of prejudiced. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I live there too. So, yeah. um, so that's good, you know. And downtown is it, it, some amazing things yeah, are that's even true. continuing to happen no. in downtown, even in this bad economy. Oh, yeah. There are new office buildings mm -hmm. that are going up, which will, you know, bring more people to downtown. Of course, the the new housing, which is now being rented, 
uh, and the amazing thing is new restaurants are continuing to open. Uh, there's this new Japanese, really kind of high-end, chic, mm-hmm. elegant place called oh. Ozumo, yeah, right, in its, right. which is in the Broadway Grand Building. Which had the building. sumo wrestlers. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> had an, a, a really right. great opening party. Uh, I, and I also hear that two new restaurants are going to open next to Flora, which oh. is, you know, Flora's right, right across from the bit. Fox right. Theater. Yeah. So it's, I think it's amazing that restaurateurs are what taking are the other two this risk. Just um, I don't know the names of mm-hmm. them, and they probably—I don't even know if that's public. But it's, sure. but but I've heard that it's on the way. Yeah. So, so exciting things are even happening in downtown, despite the the overall bad economy. And I, uh, and there's just there's so much energy in Oakland that you know we you know we love it no matter what. And and there's so many young people and creative people who are are you know building their lives here and and doing creative small businesses that are making it pretty exciting. I quite agree. Hey, yeah. thanks for your time. Good.